The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Power Trading Hour with your host, David White. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, David White. And welcome all to another excellent edition of the Power Trading Hour. And, of course, we just had Fed mean minutes out. A lot of people uh, tried to front run it, thinking that there wouldn't be uh, any bad news in it. And uh, as much as they're trying to uh, put some lipstick on this pig. Well, let's put some lipstick on this pig. Uh, there's nothing in it that makes you think... Uh, in uh, the longer term, uh, that uh, either interest rates won't be higher and that uh, equity prices won't be lower. Uh, but uh, we have a lot of people out here that think uh, that, uh, that things are just going to get better. There's no chance of any lower pricing. We still didn't have people shorting yesterday. We're still having a problem uh, getting any kind of uh, 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 a lot of people shorting or anything today i don't think we probably have a low until we see some people uh, decide that it's time to go short um certainly on the daily chart uh as we talked yesterday um i was really thinking that uh we had some problems right here in river city and that was because of these double repo patterns opening up uh, unfortunately, they weren't as clear as uh, I would have liked them to be, but they were there nonetheless. And that is 10 or 15 days above a three by three, a close below, close above. And generally you get a couple of days, but this one closed lower yesterday. So I sat on my hands and uh, getting paid handsomely to do so. But uh, very, you know, if you look at the VIX or everything else, should be extremely higher if we actually had anybody that was bearish or had enough people that were bearish. Let me put it that way. I think a handful of people are. But we continue to see uh, bad signals in the market, bad patterns developing. And uh, even when I look at the options out here, they show a low or a possible low of 4,400 before the end of the week. Now, that doesn't mean we're going to get down there, but I think we get down there at a minimum by Thursday next week. Uh, this was a, a little bit of a, a smash and grab because, of course, uh, next Friday, or a week from this Friday, we're off for the Easter holidays. So expirations on Thursday of next week, a, a week from tomorrow. Uh, so sometimes these things uh, happen a little bit more. So I think maybe the pattern we have uh, in Microsoft and Apple and others uh, of uh, impending doom um, just kind of get us back to the others. But uh, these are the patterns that if I wanted to get anything across to you uh, that you want to be looking at. And that is, I like the 3 by 3 because it, it moves a little bit faster and it also gives you an idea of where these prices should be if the trend continues. Uh, but you had the same thing. You have uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12 days above the 3 by 3, you get one day below it, one day above it. Yesterday, you close and blow it, and, this, and then you gap down. And as we said yesterday, the gap down is the proof in the pudding because when these things fail, this is the way they fail. They don't give you an opportunity to get back out. Uh, and uh, a lot of people are stuck. Uh, also, as I said before, the uh, immense amount of bullishness in this market, although interest rates going higher. So I continue to be rather bearish. As I said, we could close 4,400 a day, and it would not surprise me. Uh, maybe it takes uh, till Friday to get us down there. But that's, uh, at least for this week, kind of the low end of the range. As we look into May, um, they are thinking, or at least option market makers are selling as many calls as they can, thinking that the market actually will go back down and retest the 40, 
107 or 4115. I think I've seen both uh, that we have not tested on that uh, high volume low. Uh, anyway, 877-927-6648. Ask for Smokey the Bear. And, uh, of course, you can always email me at path at tfnn.com. I'm most of the time not bearish, although Steve calls me polar bear. That's for the path of least resistance, not because I'm always bearish in the market. Uh, but, uh, eh, what can you say? Anyway, we've gapped down. We're going to have decent volume in almost all these stocks. Um, yeah, are we going to bounce around a little bit for a while uh, as people digest the Fed news? I think we will. But for the most part, we're going lower. We've gotten some very good signals with these double repo patterns that I went through yesterday and on Monday uh, that we're setting up. And uh, generally, when these things fail, they mean that they're going to go right back to where they started from. Uh, the last time they were uh, above or closed above uh, the uh, three by three, in which case, your target on Apple would be 160, which is a mere ten dollars below where, where we're at now. Now, again, these companies can buy back shares, but when they're not doing well, and as I say, uh, when the rest of them, uh, when uh, Apple and Microsoft get a cold, the rest of the market gets Ebola. And uh, eh, what else can you say? Uh, do, 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 okay, uh, someone mentioned a TLT out here. Uh, and I think I've got a couple of emails already about it uh, in the hopper. You can email me at path at tfnn.com. Uh, am I still looking at 122? Yes. Even though you had a little bounce out here, I don't think it's going to last very long. Uh, you had volume on the way down uh, downtown yesterday. And, you know, when you read these Fed minutes, I had to do it fairly quickly at the top of the hour. They're ready for a 50-point uh, 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 interest rate hike. They've got a monthly cap, but that cap can change on how much money they're pulling out of the market. Um, but I think we've got the, to the tipping point here where everybody's going to get the idea that they're not kidding anymore, that uh, as many times as uh, Powell has folded like a uh, $5 suitcase, um, they're doubling down on the message of, higher interest rates. And I think that's very tough to avoid. I know how everybody talks about how it's different this time. And of course, uh, always love uh, John Templeton because his uh, uh, saying of the most important thing in the market is when people start saying it's different this time because it hasn't been, because people have speculated since time immemorial and uh, human nature doesn't change. We may have better technology, uh, better uh, technicals, but uh, just remember, uh, candlestick charting was invented by the uh, Chinese to, uh, and Japanese, I think, uh, to uh, look at the grain market, i.e. the race market, uh, over 500 years ago. Nothing new under the sun. We'll be back in Are you grinding in the market, but seeing little to no return? Or are you a successful trader, simply looking to make your job a little easier? Learn to take the path of least resistance with David White's powerful trading newsletter. David White is an accomplished trader whose deep understanding of technology and the markets allows him to consistently find and share winning trades. Support and resistance define the ranges in which stocks trade. By understanding these trading ranges, David White is able to find the path of least resistance. David White's trading newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, is delivered daily before the markets open to make every trading day an easy win. Visit TFNN.com today and subscribe to David White's Ultimate Trading Newsletter for $119 a month and try all of our newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Take the path of least resistance at TFNN, educating investors.
What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text, either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern, for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. The bloodletting begins off 70. What was update? Off 74 points on the SP cash. As I said, um, if you're looking for a low, uh, you might want to think about, about 4,400 on the SP cash because I think that's where we're headed this week and I think we're headed much low, lower next week, but we'll wait and see how 4,400 comes in to see whether I take any kind of cash. Again, I want to see people starting to at least worry, and I think the Fed does too, and they're going to keep the pressure up until they do. 877-927-6648. Uh, question already about ta -ta -ta, the XBI. Um, right now, you don't have a signal. This is uh, It didn't bounce much. But at the same time, it's just come back to what should be support. So not as bad as the rest. Of course, the other ones had been going straight up like a bottle rocket. But uh, I don't see much in the way here. Uh, you close below the three by three, and then I'll start thinking about uh, uh, getting more. But uh, volume is not all that exciting so far, although you had a little bit more volume on the way down. I think uh, some of these sectors that didn't do well are probably going to go sideways a little bit. The ones that had uh, gone way beyond what they should have with higher interest rates are going to pay the price. They're going to pay the piper. And who's a piper and why are you paying? I'm unsure of that. Okay, what else do we have going on here? Um, and a couple other things. Uh, another one about U and G. Uh, this one is very interesting because uh, you're testing the previous high on half the vol – well, a little more than half the volume. October 5th, high, $22.10. With 20 million shares, you're into it with 12 and rolled off of it. So maybe you're uh, ready for the uh, summer doldrums for UNG to come back. I would suspect that if this is a top, that 18 bucks is where this thing is going to head uh, in the medium term, let's say over the summer. Uh, you should look at it. You got a nice double gap there, and that's where you should find some fairly interesting support. Uh, even in summertime, uh, if uh, 
uh, U.S. administration policies toward energy uh, continue to be bat crap crazy. Uh, 877-927-6648. Okay, what do we get? Eh, we're off, what, uh, 70 points on the S&P cash now? Eh, 68. We'll see what happens out here. Maybe that's just the last push. I'd much rather be trying to go long now than uh, going long earlier in the day, but I don't see much in here to do either one. Uh, we looked at TLT already. Uh, was there something else that someone wanted to look at? Looked at Microsoft and Apple, and I think those are the most important ones, really, because they set up with that double repo pattern. The gap down today, which confirms it. Uh, and uh, you've got significant uh, lower sides on both of them. Uh, question on GDXJ. Again, these things are a little lower today, but uh, you're still in a channel out here but uh, I don't see a lot going on either way uh, question on semis from uh, Nancy um, and what do you have uh, you got a doji forming down at the very bottom of this gap up that gap up happened on 35 million shares on the 16th of March um, you don't have a bunch of juice down here but I'd still want to see this thing test 6834 um, news is still bad coming out of uh, Taiwan and uh, China for uh, silicon wafers. And without those, uh, you're not going to make anything else. So we'll have to see it. Uh, prices are up, which really means that uh, the people on the very end of the uh, spectrum, i.e. car manufacturers, uh, people that are making low expensive stuff are going to have problems. But we shall see. The volume is not that much on uh, Micron. Let's go look at some of the others out here in that space. And then we'll get to uh, some other stuff out here. Uh, okay. Uh, gap down today. Uh, not a lot of volume. You need to retest, even if uh, all it does is retest, uh, 237.32. That's the March 14th low. So we should get back and try that, I think. Maybe that's what we're going to get to this week. Maybe that's uh, next week, but we shall see. Okay, we looked at Apple. Did we look at NVIDIA? I don't think so. NVDA, we'll go to the usual suspects. Uh, big gap down. Um, you didn't get a real good sign on NVIDIA, uh, but you have a lot of juice. Uh, what do you have? On the way up on the 16th, you had 67 million shares. You got 47. So maybe one more uh, move. Uh, the the soonest I would look for a uh, low is uh, 232. Uh, that uh, gap uh, came up on the 16th with 67 million shares. So you still have a little bit farther to go. Um, you get one more gap down tomorrow, though. And that means you have two gaps, and you're probably waiting for the third to find a low in the uh, in, in NVIDIA. Uh, let's take a quick look at uh, AMD. It's already down toward its lows. It's got some fairly decent volume. 74 million shares are already. Um, volume has been kind of decreasing, uh, you, but uh, you want less than... Uh, 100 million today, and that's still problematic out here. Okay. And Spokane, Spokane Bob in the uh, den brings up uh, that the uh, safe haven stocks are looking good. Walmart uh, up and beyond uh, the last two major highs. The problem is this one doesn't have any volume to speak of. August 18th, 2021, 152.57 with 17 million shares. Today, uh, you're up with about 6 million shares. Still better than the rest, but uh, you always have to worry about them coming back into the trading range. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Okay, MCD. Uh, okay. Uh, you really don't have a lot to hang your hat on on this one. 
you're up on light volume. Back into this down day of the 23rd of February, uh, three and a half million shares. You got uh, 1.6 million shares today. So yeah, most of these things are running into uh, resistance, even though they may be the best house in the bad crack neighborhood. Okay, email me at path at tfnn.com. I think we've got a couple more here. Let's see what we have. Keep them coming, guys. Keep them coming. Um, okay. Oh. Work day for Sam in Gap Down. Single Gap. Uh, support comes in at uh, 223, so you still have another five bucks to go to test that out. fun trading the markets but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the tiger's den trading room only at tfnn.com the tiger's den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den trading room, trading software, and educational web webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. And as we return, uh, yes, uh, Tom just emailed me. Uh, I'll have an update before the uh Day is out, but yes, I don't see any reason to cover my short or bearish positions yet. Um, again, generally, uh, if you're short and you're on the right side of the uh, trade, uh, generally, until people quit saying they want to buy the lows or try to go higher, when they get depressed a little bit, then you cover. 
but generally a market that's had no or few shorts in it, as we've chronicled over the last three days, has gone straight up. Uh, there aren't a lot of people to buy, so you should expect more downside, not a, uh, a lot of people diving in to catch a falling knife. Um, so we'll see. Um, you know, we had news yesterday that kind of accelerated this. I thought it would take, uh, we'd probably go down a little slower. But, uh, eh, I don't think the news was any better today than anybody else thought it was going to be. Uh, just another reason to buy on a downtrend uh, like many people do. Okay, question about CCJ from Gerald. Uh, thanks, Gerald. You're new to the uh, Power Trading Hour fan club. I appreciate it. Uh, Kamiko, down on fairly light volume. Not a lot going on here. Um, he kind of tested high with kind of the same thing. Support probably comes in around 28 bucks. And, you know, what are you at here? 27.84. But you don't have a lot of volume. It's probably one of the better ones to hold up on. Uh, PLTR. Um, again, when you get one of the nice things about the three by three compared to the nine day is it tends to move a lot quicker. And therefore, it's a little easier to see it staying above a line. Uh, but this is the same thing. You had 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Um, now, can you get another little move up here and wiggle on the way down? Uh, yeah. But, you know, when you get that many days above these things, it's to, and you're a trader, not an investor, it's just smart to take your cash and run. Uh, there's not a whole lot out here. Uh, question about Tesla. Um, again, uh, this is one of those companies going to have problems getting parts. It already is. Uh, if you want to buy one today, your uh, seat is not going to go forward or back. There's a few other things that they're delivering cars without other companies doing the same. We chronicled over a year ago that Ford was delivering pickups with analog gauges in it because guess what? <laughs> they couldn't get the chips. Uh, no different now for some of this stuff. They are delivering the vehicles. But uh, if you were looking for a pullback back to about a thousand bucks, I think you get it. The news out of China isn't any better. They're continuing to close factories, uh, electric parts for these cars that have to come in at a budget price are not coming in. As we said before, uh, silicon wafers, which are what everything is uh, drawn, etched and created on are hard to get it's going to be an ongoing problem and generally isn't solved in a week or a month but we're talking about a quarter so the smh is probably under fire okay question about uh, intel uh do i see anything going on with them the only thing uh i see is uh that uh they've said that they're going to get quite uh price uh competitive uh, especially in the low end. And the one thing that uh, the stock market does not like, and I learned it very early on, even before I was a stock trader, when they threw Steve, uh, Steve Jobs out of Apple. And he wanted to turn Apple much more into the kind of company that uh, Microsoft was, where they sold uh, the uh, operating system um, and licensed the har hardware designs uh, much like uh, NVIDIA does now, where they uh, make the chips and they make a prototype, and this is the kind of the standard bearer. And then you can modify it if you want uh, to some extent. Uh, but Intel is, especially on the low end, is going after AMD because AMD has really just stolen its lunch when it comes to inexpensive laptops and that kind of stuff. Um, like I said, you're down pretty much on AMD. Um, there's nothing that I see that is bullish at all in the SMHs as long as they're going to have problems uh, with probably the most critical part, uh, which is what you start with, which is silicon wafers, because you don't even get the contracts until you get uh, silicon wafers, and then you need all the other components that go along with it. But, uh, yeah, the whole xenon thing and other things, probably not as uh, one-tenth the problem that uh, getting silicon to make these chips on is. 
877-927-6648. We'll keep a close eye on the markets. Well, we got a nice little bounce here. Okay, let's see if that can hold. Um, no, I wouldn't change much of anything. And the reason why is you need to close above 4511-ish, 4515-ish today. Yeah, could you? You might. I don't think so. But you'd have to close above that. We did crash through uh, what should have been support. We broke through it, and we're probably going to have some decent volume on the day nonetheless. Uh, uh, xenon or uh, neon? I think it's xenon. Uh, okay. And what else do we have out here? Now, man, when you get ticks of 10 points on the S&P cash in 30 seconds, I think that says a lot about what's going on inside the market. Uh, a lot of indeterminate folks out there pulling on a stroke. Okay, uh, question on ARQQ. I think just a lot of people are taking the money and running if you need any kind of uh, uh, money. Now, the volume is nothing, which I love, but uh, you still have to wait for probably a test of somewhere around 13 bucks. There is a 1266 low for March 11th, and that actually would look fairly good, especially on the extremely low volume we have out here. You're basically into some candles with a lot of volume on the upside. So could this be it? It might be. We've got a little doji out here, but I'd sure think, especially in a market that I am fairly bearish on, uh, I'd want, you know, this is where you want the test of the lows. And you really don't want to be taking risks unless the stocks test the lows on lighter volume. But absolutely brilliant at the moment. Um, so, yeah. Uh, two, 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 okay, we took a look at AMD. We took it, Mike, I took it uh, that. Uh, No, we looked at the other. Let's take a quick look at IBB. It's really a different index than the rest, but it kind of saying the exact same thing, uh, which is you're right on this uh, level. So it may be holding off better than the rest. I suspect just because it's gone sideways, why the rest have been So as you pull back today, it's not as bad as it could be. Uh, you know, support probably at 130 before I'd even look at it. And to be up in a back. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. Technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. 
Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV. going on here today uh question about roku dave i remember you talking about not being able to figure out how these guys ever actually make money uh are they even worth what they're at now um got some fairly light volume um again like i said i think we're kind of in a bear market and even if you want to try playing the pops I would wait until you get some kind of extreme reading. Now, you had a very nice uh, low out here at 66 million shares on February 18th. You came into that with about 7 million shares. So you had a nice test on lighter volume. You went back up to the highs, but you needed 9 million shares. You got 6 million shares. So now you're back down with uh, 5 million shares today. Do you get to 102 or 100 bucks? I think there's this gap here at 101. And that's where I'd want that thing to pull back on very light volume. But again, I'm I'm going to have to wait and change my opinion if things change. But I'm thinking uh, that, like I said, that maybe we get a little bit, a couple of days of bounce, not this week, maybe the first part of next week, and then we sell off into the three-day weekend. And then probably the real destruction starts uh, into the first week uh, or uh, so of uh, May. If you're in a downtrend and you get to the first of May, generally the first five or six trading days of that are pretty horrific. Uh, and even the last couple of days of April can be uh, in a down market. So uh, just keep an eye on that. I remember, uh, what was it? I want to say May 5th was uh, the day that everything fell apart in 2008. That's when all the uh, broker-dealers had retested previous uh, highs on half volume. I mean, everyone, Goldman Sachs, those, the rest. And it took uh, until March of 2009 to find some kind of low. Um, but, uh, eh, I do digress. 877-927-6648. Remember, I control the vertical and I control the horizontal. So just sit back. Uh, to, to path at tfnn.com. Keep them coming, folks. Okay, what else do we have here? Okay, we did Tesla. I got that one. Uh, DLR. Well, sometimes things hold up uh, in real estate. Um, you're just back up to what really is going to be resistance on this um but it's hard to say that if you're you know holding real estate for uh in key positions in cities that this is going to be the worst hit i thought it would be early on uh but uh it's proven me wrong over time so you have to admit it and move on uh to, to, to what else do we have out here uh question about the xle after my question on 
that you're just going sideways out here. Um, if you're along this thing, I don't see any reason. Uh, and you bought it at a good price. You've been in it for a while and more of an investor than on a single trade. Right now, I wouldn't be in this for a trade. Um, but, uh, yeah, you're sitting at highs. You just never got the kind of volume to bust through that $80.22 high. Um, but, uh, you know, an economy pulling back may be the only thing that's holding fuel prices lower. So you got to think about that. Um Okay. Question to look at a gold stock. Uh, you used to like this one. You played it a few times. Um, McEwen Mining. Again, this thing kind of looks like it wants to go back and say hello to its little friends. Back here on March 3rd, maybe on uh, the 4th, too. Um, you're kind of in that already. Uh, what did you have on that? You had 5 million shares. You're kind of back into it today with 78. Um, the real reason I like this uh, particular stock at the time was that it had a monstrous amount of short interest in it uh, that I could never figure out. Uh, and uh, let's see what it is now. Still five days to cover. So everybody's always short this thing. I think uh, this is one that I'd want to see back at 75 cents and gold moving higher. And that would be it. But actually not a bad looking chart. Uh, you are pulling back on lighter volume back to where you kind of busted out on. So maybe it takes another week or so. As I said uh, yesterday, gold tends uh, the first couple of weeks in a downtrend or a bear market. Everything gets started to the lower side. You can spend a week or two or three just going sideways as uh, the market goes lower, and it'll hang out there fairly well generally. Uh, but then uh, about two weeks, people actually start getting worried and they start buying gold. And I think uh, the two things that are missing right now is any real fear uh, by shown by either equity shorting or uh, by uh, uh, shorting in the uh, in puts, um, just the incredible low sector. As soon as we start seeing people uh, get into that level and start buying it, my guess is gold will do well but uh, unfortunately you may just have to sit on your hands it may not go down but it may not be the the uh, rocket ship that you've looked for uh, to, to, to what else do we have we looked at that we looked at that uh, question on the socks s o x s And we're off 45, 46 points. Okay, just checking. Um, yeah. I mean, if you're in this thing, I don't see any reason to get out. Uh, to, to, uh, okay, we looked at Intel, looked at NVIDIA, looked at Walmart, did not look at Costco. Um, again, problematic, even in the best house in a bad neighborhood. March 31st, you had 3.44 million shares. That was 586. You didn't quite get there, I don't think. Now you got 585. So you're a buck below the high with uh, 1.6 million shares. So you're, what, 40% of the volume? So yeah, that's uh, that's saying that you're, you are in the best house in a bad neighborhood, and you gotta watch it. Uh, okay. We got LXA. We got it. Okay, EDZ, one of my fan favorites. Uh, if uh, the big economies are headed lower, uh, you want to take a look at this one. It is up with some decent volume, um, and uh, yeah, about where you'd want to be. Uh, Ten bucks is probably the close above that was probably the buy signal. Um, could this go a little sideways? I could. And again, these companies are, or these countries are almost all driven by uh, kind of a big uh, push for either oil or natural um, uh, resources. So if crude does kind of go sideways for a while, you really need for this one to move, you really need a, a pullback in all the other stuff. 
all the other metals, iron ore, all that kind of stuff. Uh, but yeah, 14 bucks would be my target at double cap. Back at Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year, or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested, or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Catch Tom O'Brien, professional trader and educator, founder of TFNN. Also, a special guest on CNBC. Tom will bisect and dissect the markets. The Tom O'Brien Show, next on TFNN. ready to wrap up the end of the day uh, I had somebody ask about uh, Qualcomm uh, so we'll do that here and uh, here just uh, whoop, come on Mr. Qualcomm did I not get you there we go uh, you are testing the previous low you got more volume again all these semiconductors have a problem and that is that uh, they need wafers they don't have wafers gotta have wafers uh, down with more volume I'm waiting for a gap down. Uh, uh, maybe you get lighter volume tomorrow and a lower price, uh, but I see absolutely no reason to go uh, uh, and start thinking uh, opposite on that. Uh, 43, what are we off? 43, is that right? Off 39 on the S&P cash. People are throwing money at this market left and right. Um, so anyway, um, yeah, we have we've got to be up actually about 40 points uh, to turn this uh, around. And I'm not thinking that happens before the end of the day. Uh, and I'd still like one more big gap lower uh, to set a low. I don't think we've seen anything in here that makes me think that anybody is at least the least bit despondent. 
Uh, question on, uh, to, to, what was it? LNG, uh, which has just been gone, kind of going sideways. Uh, so I don't see a whole lot uh, to yell about in that one. Five days of sideways. Uh, what I was going to bring up, and I never got to them because there were so many of them yesterday, uh, was uh, these charts in the uh, and these the transportation of uh, liquid natural uh, gas. Uh, Goler, um, it had been another one that had been up in a trend, actually close lower today. So start watching for that. See if any of those come back. I think there was another one. There were about three in that sect. I can't find it now. So when you can, not when you have to, we will return tomorrow. Oh, I won't. I'll be gone tomorrow. I may be gone on Friday. So when you can, not when you have to, we'll see you at least on Monday.